following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day from TFNN. Welcome to the June 28th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie. Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one and an extraordinary weekend as well. Of course, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four change, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, you and I, this morning, you and I, we're going to go check out the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, during this next hour, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in, 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, let's go ahead and get this show started. This is June 28th. It is Fantastic Friday. It's the close of the week, the close of the month, the close of the quarter. Today is a muy importante day. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to La Show. Right now, we're coming to you live at 8.08 .08 in the morning. So if you're listening in at 1.08, I'll make this show as pertinent as I can for the day so that you know what to be looking at during the day as the day comes to an end. Um, right now, we've got the uh, Dow Equity Futures contract trading up 74 points, 26,620. All the Equity Futures contracts are trading to the upside. Uh, the Russell 2000, big day yesterday, up a couple of points. The NASDAQ is up for the uh, ES Mini is up about six points out here. Now, that's different than what we saw over in Asia last night. Over in Asia, we saw the uh, Shanghai finish down six tenths of a percent, 19 points. Hang Seng up 78 points. That's a quarter of a percent. The Nikkei down 62, about three tenths of a percent to the downside. Over in Australia, they closed down 47 points or seven tenths of a percent to the downside. In Europe this morning, the major indices, the DAX and the FTSE, that's trading to the upside. A half a percent in the DAX, up 63 points, and the FTSE up two tenths of a percent or 15 points. Gold is trading out at 14.16. That's up four bucks. Silver is uh, up two pennies, trading at 15.31. Lights we crude up 14 cents out there. So that's what we have going on. T bonds are pulling back just slightly. This is the first chart that subscribers and I take a look at each morning, just to have relevance as to what the markets are doing at the time that I'm posting the uh, newsletter out here. But what are the markets doing, just to get a feel? Um, Where's the spot volatility index trading? That's always important to me. So in just going through the spot check, one of the other charts that, uh, or many of the other charts, I'll show you some of those as long as we're doing the morning show out here. We take a look at this chart here. Now this takes a look at uh, a handful of instruments, it takes a look at the Dow and the ES Mini, and takes a look at where it's trading in four major currencies out there, the, do the US dollar, the uh, yen, the euro, and the Great British Pound. Now we can see that both inside of gold as well as treasury bonds, light sweet crude, and the DAX. Of course, light sweet crude, I'm gonna have to change. So gotta do this sort of on the fly here. So let me change that, I believe, as light sweet, yeah, light sweet crude is, uh, and eh, maybe I'm wrong about this. Eh. In, in any event, this is, this is I, can, I can still flop, flip, yeah, uh, and then we can take a look at the DAX. Now, the, the reason to take a look at how things are trading, I'll come back to that. The reason why to take a look at how things are trading these currencies is see if there's any kind of major divergences going on. Because when markets are moving higher, they really need to be moving higher in all currencies. In other words, you're not the only one trading the ES Mini. <laughs> By far, we're not the only one trading the ES Mini. It's being traded around the globe. 
nearly 24 hours a day out there. Same thing when you take a look at gold. Same thing when you take a look at T-Bunch. Don't do yourself a disservice and tie 75% of your hands, so to speak, behind your back because you're not focused on how these instruments are trading in other currencies. You know, all the great technical tools that you and I take a look at, you realize the one that is the most important, the one that is going to give you the most information is actually this chart. It is, no, because when you see, for example, the ES Mini right now, you can see it's trading just slightly lower in pound sterling versus the others because on each person's screen, if things are moving to the south or to the north, it's in their currency, and that's how they take a look at it, just like you take a look at it. When you wake up in the morning and you eat your Cheerios or your Wheaties or your Lucky Charms or whatever it might be out there, you're only thinking in terms of, hey, honey, how much money did we make today in terms of dollars? You're not interested in terms of euros or yen or pounds. I get that. But if you're trading, and if you're an intraday trader, like this is this qual this is this is important for everyone out there. I mean, this is the key. Well, it's one of the keys because there's many patterns that we trade. So it's really important to understand this is when you buy you know. When people take a look at gold and all they do is take a look at gold priced in dollars, you just gotta say to yourself, why? Why aren't we taking a look at how gold is trading and all the other major currencies out there? Okay, so in any event, this is kind of like the first check start. This is how I begin my day to try to understand. Then the other thing that I do is try to look at what went on overnight? What's going on on the shorter term time frame charts out there? Now, I've got this cool tool out here. This tool here is taking a look at the uh, at the ES Mini, the NQ, the YM, the Russell 2000, even gold out here. And I'm looking at it for the 30 minute, the two, one hour, the two hour, and the five hour time frames. So I'm looking for topping or bottoming signals out there. This helps me to say, okay, where should I focus my time out there? The other thing that we can do, for example, is we can just look at this 30 minute time frame chart. When we look at this 30 minute time frame chart here for the ES mini looking for any type of topping signals it didn't show up as a topping signal uh, inside the uh, inside that tool that I showed you uh, out here, Bob, like I referred to that as Bob, that's our bullish or bearish system out here because there is no topping signal other than the fact that prices made it all the way back to a previous high. We can stretch this in just a little bit more, but you can see that, you know, things are consolidating, so to speak. It's really, this is a consolidation pattern inside the ES Mini. You might say, what is that? Well, if we take a look at this, we can just use a, let's do this. Let me do it on a clearer uh, screen out here. So let's go take a look at the, let's put up the ES mini. Let's put it up on a, uh, we can, we can choose whatever time frame it is that we want, but we'll just simply stick with that 30. Whoops. Why didn't that uh, go out there? ES, um, uh, ES U19. Give me a second here. Okay. And now let's just switch over to our 30 minute time frame, right? It's really important to understand where we're at. Now, the reason why I say this is, looks like a consolidation pattern to me. The, the top of the consolidation is, is so easy to be able to uh, pick out up here. It, you know, and I'm not going to worry about being exact or what have you. Um, but it looks to me like this is really the consolidation. In other words, this, this breakdown here at about uh, 430. Uh, on June 26, a few days ago, turned out to be a false break, right? Price gets back into the consolidation, price is up near the top of that consolidation. Now, the cool thing about this, folks, is it creates a measured move, either to the upside or to the downside. So in essence, we would say today a close above 29.39. Well, that could be signaling. So, hey, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be right back. We'll take a look at this when we get back from the break. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Hey, it's 8.18 in the morning. If you're listening at the normal time slot, uh, the show's being recorded early. We'll be back to normal programming hours on uh, Monday out here. But what we're taking a look at is the uh, consolidation pattern that's uh, in the ES Mini 30-minute uh, time frame. Price is up near the top of the consolidation. Is this a place where you'd be buying the ES Mini? The answer is no. You know, you're better off buying towards the bottom of the consolidation or at least waiting for a breakout. Now, because it's a consolidating pattern, it gives us both upside and downside potential. We... Uh, we, it's re, what's referred to as a measured move. In other words, a breakout of a consolidation. It can be false, right? We saw that down here at the bottom. But if it is a real breakout, then your measured move is equal to or greater than the consolidation. So 29.60 to the upside, approximately, and to the downside, uh, 28.96 on any break. I don't know what to anticipate or expect today. I don't have any topping signals on a 30-minute time frame chart, you know, like a uh, TD setup, nine count, uh, wave number seven. We do have wave number six. So that's as even a punch through the high that we've taken a look at on a 30-minute basis. One should be uh, careful and wary and uh, wait for some confirmations out there. Uh, but that's what we're taking a look at. And it, in essence, explains the uh, markets uh, in the the reality is I wouldn't expect anything significant to occur today, but hey, what I expect and what happens, it could easily be two different things out here. In essence, just prepare yourself for the pattern. If you see a clear break uh, to the upside, if price is trading above at uh, this stage here, we'll use the prior high. That's from uh, 5.30 this morning. The price is trading about 29.39.75, and it's uh, one. And that's on the ES Mini, folks, at uh, 1.20 in the afternoon. Um, then a good chance that you're going to see a run all the way up to the 29.60 level out there. Likewise, price could easily move down to the bottom of the consolidation, which is 29.17, another 20 points to the downside. And in doing so, really doesn't change any characteristic in the market other than the mere fact that the Things are moving sideways out there. Now, there were a couple questions that came in yesterday um, that I didn't get to. One was, um, let me see if I can pull it up, see if I can figure out who it was from. Um, I don't think I can. I don't have it. But it was with regard to Bitcoin. The question was, was there any signal inside of Bitcoin to suggest that uh, maybe there was a, a top that was coming. Um, and the answer to that is, we take a look at the weekly time frame chart. The answer to that is yes. 
So one of the tools that you and I use to help us identify potential tops or bottoms out here, because that's really what it's all about. What you and I want to become experts, masters of, is being able to buy bottoms and being able to sell tops. Right there where your risk reward is the best, where you're, well, we like to use the expression here at TFNN, where your back is up against the wall. What we mean is the trade's either going to work or it's not. If it doesn't work, we go ahead and close it out. We protect our capital out there. So when we take a look at the TD setup count out here on bar is eight, nine, or the bar following bar nine is where we can see potential changes in trend. Uh, now, this is the Bitcoin chart through yesterday. So this is where I download all of the uh, data out here, and that way I can uh, display it uh, easily. If we take a look at uh, Bitcoin, you can see that uh, last week was the was bar number nine. This week being bar number ten out there, or the bar really bar the bar following bar number nine. Uh, now we've got, or we did at least as of yesterday, a shooting star. I don't know what it's going to be. The candle formation that is at the end of today's trading session out here. Um, but so there was your top signal just simply to be cautious on the daily time frame we didn't get that same type of a signal out here um, I, I'm not sure where we're at on wave counts we can try to go figure that out uh, the question becomes you know where do we start if you take a look at Bitcoin as an example on a daily chart out let me just expand this uh, up for you so you can see how this tool this is the Rose Momentum Indicator tool, and I, I teach it to subscribers. So if you'd like to learn about this tool, and I think you do, well, no, let me restate that. You better, you better want to learn this tool because it helps you to buy bottoms, identify bottoms. Learn this tool, use this tool, pass this on to your kids and your grandkids. It's worked forever. Yeah, even though I haven't been around forever, I've tested it forever. I've gone back and looked at it forever. Forever means going back to the 1890s and taking a look at uh, data in the Dow. But if the question is, was Bitcoin giving us any signal of a bottom when it was trading in that $3,000 mark? Well, here's your answer. An actual bottom signal came in on a uh, week, uh, this is a daily chart, uh, around December the 17th, when a small little bullish engulfing candle formed. Now, that small little bullish engulfing candle came after where it needed to, that Rhodes Momentum indicator signal out there. And so that helped to identify the bottom inside of uh, Bitcoin. And we look for those same types of pattern. Now, I could start my wave count there, and then from there, I just got to do a bunch of retooling. But I was looking for that lowest low. Let me make sure that I grab that correct uh, candle out here. But on the daily chart, and I don't want to, you know, overkill this thing, but, uh, uh, the, you know, let's go see what it says out here. And what we look for, we look for these seventh waves. Now, I, I like when after wave number seven, that's letter G, uh, my chart out here, where we see some type of retracement, because then I like to just start my count right there. In other words, recycling, because that's the way that I was taught, and I was taught by uh, one of the best out here. Now, in this case here, where we had that seventh wave, this is on around June 24th, no pullback out here. So in this case, what I would do from a daily count out here is I would have to uh, begin right about there. So no signal on a daily basis. Here's what you had on the daily basis so you had price coming down and testing Stevie's what we like to refer to as Stevie's red line it's red or green I've changed the color of that line over the years so I just simply know and now you know whether you have a price oscillator above zero or below zero because that's very helpful to understand the uh, meaning uh, the message of the uh, markets as long as uh, the price oscillator is above zero um, and price is above Stevie's green line that's the oscillator and change line it may sound like a bunch of uh, gobbledygook here's all you need to know if the line is green and price is above it, that is a bullish condition. If the line is green and price is below it, it is a retracement condition. A retracement condition in the case of Bitcoin says, hey, I might pull back to my last breakout area. If you're wondering what that price point is in Bitcoin, it's 78.62. Now, it's more likely to do that if you see Bitcoin, and I don't know where it's trading right now, 11,059 is the number. If you trade below that, that is very likely where Bitcoin is moving back to. 7,800. Yep, that is the uh, uh, so there you go with regard to answering the question yesterday about uh, Bitcoin. We've got other questions that have come in, or at least one that came in this morning. Let's go take a look at this. And this is to take a look at ticker symbol. You can put it up on your screen. This is for Largo Resource Limited. The uh, ticker symbol is LGORF. Let me see if I can figure out what was the oh, geez, Louise, out here. The question was. This is really important. This is from Michael. Michael H. writes in, and he says, uh, hey, Steve, um, Largo Resources, is yesterday's candle a hammer candle? So let's take a look at it. 
And nor did I have a hammer candle, the opposite of the uh, shooting star. You must be in a downtrend. We can see here that uh, uh, Largo Resources made a high on June 17th. You can see the downtrend that's been established. And therefore, the answer to your question is yes. Yesterday was a hammer candle. Now, uh, Mike, you should have also been asking this question. Was yesterday's candle a gap to the downside? Now, I know that that's obvious out here, but it is. So now you have both a bullish candle and a bearish candle out there. Now, let's come back to this. We've got a caller on the line. We have call ahead seating here at uh, tra the Trader's Edge. Actually, we'll, uh, we're going to a hard break. We get back from this break. We're going to go out to Isaac in New York, who's got a question about time frames. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, let's uh, go out to uh, New York. I don't know if it's New York City where it's going to be 90. One or 92 today. It's going to be warmer in New York City this weekend than it is going to be down here in little old Delray Beach, Florida, in the uh, deep south. But let's go out and speak with Isaac. Isaac, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you this morning? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing, uh, I'm doing well. So you've got a question about time frames. Uh, tell me how I can uh, help you. 
Okay, so I basically trade just like once or twice a week, and it's just precious metals um, that I look at. I have been watching you now for the last couple of weeks, and I'm very, very impressed. And the question is, how do you decide which time frame to use? For example, most of the times I'm using a daily time frame. During the sure. day, if I'm looking for something, I'll use a 20-minute time frame. How do you decide if you're using a 30-minute, a 60-minute, a 120, or what the story is? Well, let me do this. Let me ask you, uh, I'll answer the question, but really my my goal, maybe your question is really the same outcome, which is to help you. But in, in helping you specifically, what time frames right now, you say you're using a daily and you're using a 20 minute, are those, During, tell yeah, me your so primary time frames that you're trade, using. I'll use a 20 minute time frame and I'll look for a good spot based upon a 20 minute chart. And then, but it's it has to be consistent with my overall daily, you know, where I think it's gonna be heading. Sure. So, so if I were to summarize, you're using the daily time frame to give you the larger picture, and then you're using your 20-minute time frame to generate some type of signal. Correct. Okay. So here, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change. First, I'm gonna. First, what I want to do is is uh, uh, I want to answer both questions. How do I determine what time frame should be used? If I were just keyed in and focused in on on precious metals, on gold specifically, and the answer to your question here is what I look for is I, I go through, so my, chart, my charts have these automated tools on them. And what it means out here, Isaac, is I can change the time frame and those tools will simply just uh, regenerate themselves, recalculate themselves so I can understand where they're at. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the, the motion of the ocean, the, the wave, so to speak. Where is it that uh, price is running into resistance or support that is held that then is going to give me the next uh, edge, so to speak, the next trader's edge as to what the intention of buyers and sellers are. So what I have up on my screen, because you trade precious metals, what you should know is right now the two-hour time frame is providing you with excellent information. That excellent information is support and resistance, one of the most important things for you and I to be able to look at. And here's what we know. We know that the change in trend in gold to the upside has not changed, or at least I say that it has not changed based on the two-hour time frame chart. The reason that I say say that it is not unusual for an instrument to on a, on its way up to come back and test support that's a normal thing that's just called a retracement and when support holds then and and when it does hold it tells you that the original trend is still in place out here Likewise, in a bearish market, it's not unusual for price to make those nice counter trend rallies. What that really means out there or should mean is price is just bouncing up into resistance. Well, on the two hour time frame chart for gold, these are not resistance lines out here that I've drawn in. I have drawn in the numbers, uh, although I've got my programmer working on this tool. So it just simply adds the dollar amount so I can turn that on and off. These are, these, 14 are, these are the TV9 uh, support and resistance lines. Exactly. So 1439.80. Now, you said 20 minute time frame. I'm just simply going to take this. Uh, well, let me just get rid of the those dollar so, amounts so because those. Question, why did you cho cho choose now the two hour time frame? Ah, because I went through all types of time frames to figure out which one looked like it was providing us with the best information. Sometimes it's not a two hour time frame. Sometimes it's it's a sometimes it could be a 20 minute time frame or a 30 minute time frame. For example, Isaac, and it's a great question. On June 26, the morning of June 26, um, when the market was crashing, remember Christmas Eve, and the market finished at its lows and just looked awful. looked like it looked like Santa was delivering coal. Uh, but you don't open. You're not supposed to open your presents on the 24th. You're supposed to open them. Well, in this case here in the stock exchange, would be the 26th. It was the 30-minute time frame for the ES Mini and the NQ, where the same TD resistance lines were holding as resistance. Each bounce up into each counter trend rally from back in October down through December, uh, uh, each counter trend rally found resistance. But the morning of the 26th, and it was about 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, yeah, it was up, and it w was the first time we saw a crack above resistance. It was the indication that a change in trend was underway. And subscribers and I went long uh, at the uh, open 
on the uh, 26th. In the face of fear, in all the bad news in the world was falling apart, we know that's not the case. We know that our responsibility is to identify support and resistance, especially support and resistance that holds. And then the way that you treat resistance, it doesn't guarantee you a trade. It just gives you your best possible time to take that entry into that trade out there. And, uh, and so, so it's always a different time frame during the cycle out here. So, so I just do that. But here I'm going to put up for you. Let's just see. I don't know. Let me, I've got to put in a custom time frame here for 20 minutes. It's not just one of my normal defaults, but that's no big deal. Let me just change this to 50 days. So it just populates uh, just the last 50 days worth of information out here. And so on a 20 minute time frame, Here's what I want to share with you. You're trading precious metals. In a 20-minute time frame, you would know that at about 740 last night, or specifically the price point of 141240, that that was a key support level. That was where price had most recently broke out on a 20-minute time frame. And it was at about 3 o'clock this morning when that level was hit. So if you're trading this, if your daily is saying you want to still stay long here, that was your trade. That was your that was your that was your price point to get into a a, a long trade out there. Uh, if that level fails on a 20 minute time frame, then the next level of support, and this is the beauty of this, Isaac, is that it's at 1410 20. So really, you know, if you're trading uh, gold out there, that's not a huge stop. You just change your position size on that trade. And any close below that, you would know that being wrong is long. In fact, you would go ahead and consider trading this to the downside out there. Uh, but that's just taking a look at, we only looked at the 20 minute chart. We haven't looked at the daily time frame. Now we can take the same tool out here and put it on a daily time frame. And on a daily time frame, this says that if gold were to pull back, let's say that there was a high in gold a few days ago, which I believe that there was. But until we get a close below that level on the 120 minute time frame, I'm not willing to go to the bearish side. But I am willing to be neutral, which is the position that I'm at right now with gold. So gold has to prove itself to me. But if gold did top, then my expectation would be that gold will pull back to 1336.60. Uh, that's just simply using this system. There are some other things that you and I need to go investigate to see, for example, in the case of gold, because you're trading it, you called in. I want to provide you with as much information as I can. That information is there's also a new market profile that has formed. Have you ever used market profiles, Isaac? No, that's the one that I'm using everything else that you've done besides for the market profile. Okay, so um, in, there's a brand new market profile that formed out here, and this should, the reason why I want to bring this up is not to confuse you, but you said, hey, I use the daily to help me figure out what I want to do on the short-term time frame. Well, you have now a brand new daily profile that formed. This says resistance is up at 1432.80. So what this would then tell us also is if price were to close above that, which is not the actual high that came in a few days ago, you should be looking to the bullish side. Likewise, ultimate support perhaps is at 1392.50. That's the bottom of the profile. Does that help you out? Okay. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, thank hey, you. You bet. Thanks for calling. That was Isaac in uh, sweltering New York. I wasn't sure if it was New York City, though. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. 
Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So taking a look here at, uh, again, Largo Resources, this was for Michael. So his question here is, well, his first question was, was yesterday's ha uh, candle a hammer candle? It was, but it was also a gap to the downside. So both bullish and bearish meaning coming from yesterday. In looking at Largo Resources and looking at the daily, weekly, monthly set of profiles out here, we know on a daily basis you're below the bottom of a bullish structured box. That happened yesterday. So that says uh, be careful because key level of support was broken. But at the same time, it looks like the uh, low of yesterday was also the bottom of the bullish structured weekly profile at 121 out there. Um, we're also trading right now at, or as of the close last night, uh, we're trading right at the bottom of the monthly profile. So the question from Michael is, what would make this a long consideration? What do the other tools uh, in essence show us? So let's just look at the daily time frame. And it's possible, Michael, you want to watch to see how this trades today. Um, because uh, yesterday was day number eight of the TD setup nine count. Uh, as long as price closes below today, that's right, below 140, uh, and it closed last night at 129, you'll get the TD setup nine count pattern today, even if it doesn't make a lower low. Remember, the bars number eight, nine, or the bar following nine can be the low out here. Now, you did see in Largo, no, not Largo, yeah, Largo, you did see the bottom. You did see the Rhodes Momentum bottom signal back here. This was on the trading day of, uh, and I think my system's off by a day. It looks like the the 18th or the 21st out here. But you can see you can see the candle step, the piercing candle. Let's just do a quick wave count from uh, that low out there. Uh, only in the wave number two, that low hasn't been taken out. So I know you're looking for a long trade. Wait to see how this trades today. Um, and, um, you know, you can you, you can fire away if you want, and your your stop really should be below 121. Uh, your average true range is nine pennies out there, so your, your stop has got to be, you know, wider than nine cents, but probably even wider than that. That's just going to impact the number of shares so that you have the proper position size out there. If you're not familiar with position size, then just subscribe to the newsletter, and there's, an, there's a 45-90-minute uh, 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 video on uh, money management and position sizing is a key uh, part of that. So best of luck uh, with uh, the potential trade in Largo. Uh, gold uh, inside our Tiger's Den. Gold 25 is thinking of going long Oxy. So let's go take a look at Occidental Petroleum in the news quite a bit out here. But if we take a look at uh, Occidental Petroleum, 
Um, let's start. Your, I, I don't know if you're if you're thinking of a longer term trade or short term trade out here, but I'm going to start with the long term uh, because you're thinking of a trade. Always good when you're flying your plane to know what's up above you and below you. Your eyes can typically see what's right in front of you. If we take a look at Occidental Petroleum out here, what we notice is that this month, the month of June, is going to be that bar following bar number nine of the count. That says that as long as the low holds of this month. This month, by the way, that low is um, 47 bucks, even Steven. Hey, Basil likes those round numbers out there. Uh, so this is saying potential bottom. That's what the monthly time frame chart shows. If you get a lower low in the month of July, then that pattern is uh, no, not going to be the one calling the bottom out there. That's on the weekly, on the monthly time frame. The weekly time frame out here shows what? Shows that the bottom was a TD setup nine count. That looks like the week of June the 7th, the following week. Even though it says bar number one and two out there, you can you don't worry about that. It was a higher close out there. Now, on a weekly time frame, gold, and I don't know, you know, your your tolerance for whether you're a conservative or aggressive trader out here, a conservative trader would say, you know what? I want to wait for price to close above Stevie's red line out here because there's a falling price oscillator. Price is below the oscillator and change line at 5160. I've got a weekly falling price oscillator below zero. Before I enter the trade, or maybe it's an intermediate term type trade out here, I'm going to wait for proof. Well, proof would be a close above 5160 out there. That is your resistance level on a weekly time frame. If we take a look at the daily time frame out here, the daily time frame did not generate a, a, a TD setup nine count, but if we simply do our wave counts from the bar on May 8th to the downside you got to wave number seven that's letter G so now you've got all of the bottoming considerations that you need in order to go uh, along this so yes if you're asking is Occidental Petroleum a uh, long candidate the answer is absolutely positively yes now where's Occidental Petroleum trading right now I don't know but let's go take a look at the uh, at where it is in the pre-market last trade fired off at 700 shares was 50 bucks and 300 shares at 50 bucks a thousand shares at 49 90 let's come back to it um, and, and now price is trading with inside it's a daily profile out here so if you take a look at where support should be here on a pullback it'd be 49.23 on the daily time frame what you're looking for is a close above 51.10 now, it was 51.60 on the weekly, um, you know, and if it can close above 51.10, really the ideal would be 51.63. With more than 10.2 uh, million shares, you'd have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. But to answer your question, if your question was... Uh, has Occidental Petroleum generated a uh, bottom signal? Because that's the only reason that you want to really take along, right? It's generated a bottom signal. Well, you now have your answer. Occidental Petroleum has generated a potential bottom signal on the monthly. Won't be confirmed until next month, but looks pretty good so far. The weekly, about three weeks ago. So that's confirmed. That's nice because that goes along with what we just saw inside the monthly time frame. It just needs to close above 5160. The daily generated a bottom signal several weeks ago and uh, um so yeah you've, you've got you've got your yeah and the average true range folks out there if you're interested in taking that uh, trade it's a buck 22 your stop must be a buck 22 times something i like to use fibonacci expansion multipliers those would be either 1.272 or 1.618 and your stop is then simply that much, your average true range, time those levels, less your entry price, and that's it. Be done with it. Because if a if the average daily range, just think of this logically, Stevie's logic may not be logical. You might say it's the most illogical thing you've ever heard. It's Stevie logic, we'll just simply call it. If a stock or equity or position is moving more than 1.618 of what it's done over the last 10 days, if you don't like 10 days, use more days out there. I just like 10 days, 10 trading sessions, in essence, out there. Um, then it's telling me something else is going on. Go ahead, stop me out of the trade. I need to go ahead and take a look and uh, figure out whether to come back in or, or go to the other side, if you want. I'm not saying go to the other side. Okay, so there's your answers on... Um, on Occidental Petroleum. Let me see if there's any other questions that have uh, come in here this morning. Uh, we do have one. Uh, this one coming from Alex. Alex writes in and says, "Say, Steve, June 20th, S&P hit an all-time high. Uh, will the end of the year be above that high? Um, I don't know. Yeah, great question. 
Uh, in, so here's the question. Let's uh, let's just take a look at the chart. The question is out here. Um, here's the S and P. He's referring to the high out here on June the 21st. He said June 20th out here. The actual high was 2964.15. Let's not maybe it was referring to a closing high versus an intraday high out there. What we know is that the, here's what we do know. We'll just simply look at it like this. Um, and this will be the reason why I don't know the answer to your question. Give me a second here to try to find it. It's right here. Here's what each of the markets are doing. You got the Dow in the upper left, the S&P upper right, the NDX 100 lower left, the Russell 2000 lower right. We're in a consolidating market. Alex, I don't know when the consolidation is going to be broken. I don't think we're going to be above the high, but that's irregardless right now, which is not a word, by the way, irregardless. Regardless is, though. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome, uh, folks. So I'm pretty sure that uh, at the G20 tonight at about 8 o'clock their time, 3 o'clock our time on the East Coast, uh, Macron and Trump will be watching the uh, World Cup. And you should, too, out there. At least you'd have it on in the uh, background. You know, go, go Team USA. Maybe they'll uh, serve some French fries and uh, some hamburgers. 
That would be pretty good out there. So um, if, if we're going to say, you know, are the markets giving us any indication as to how they're going to trade Sunday, Monday, um, you know, ahead of whatever statement might come out from both uh, uh, China and the uh, U.S. with regard to just talk discussions out there. Here's what the message of the markets is right now. The message of the markets for gold is that it has topped. The reason why that's the message of markets is because it did it with that TD setup nine count. It'd be pretty disingenuous of me to have us use. Now, they don't always work, these counts out here, but it would be pretty disingenuous for me to see this pattern and uh, and suggest to you otherwise. So this would say that gold is going to trade lower. That is top. Now, maybe it's just going to pull back to 1400 Stevie's green line. Maybe it's 1392.50, the bottom of its new profile out there. But we've got a topping signal in place for the uh, gold contract. Treasury bonds have also suggested that they have topped. What have they formed out here? Well, they formed one of Stevie's Rhodes Momentum Indicator tops. It did it last Friday when we had that uh, bearish reversal candle out there. Now, in this case here, price is just consolidating within its profile, too. Maybe price is just going to go down and test support, but it's suggesting the way that it wants to move lower. By the way, moving back to Stevie's green line in gold isn't bearish out there. It just says that price wants to trade lower. Two topping signals there. Now, now, at the end of the day, um, what you're going to want to pay attention to, or one of the things you'll certainly want to pay attention to, is where is the spot volatility index trading? Is it above or below the 50-day exponential moving average? That level right now is 1576, about where it should be at 2 o'clock in the afternoon as well. We're trading at 1586 right now. It's back above it. New York Stock Exchange advanced client oscillator above zero. All this says that the equity contracts actually want to trade higher coming into the Sunday, Monday news out there. Let's recheck on this on Monday. Hey, have a terrific weekend, folks. Thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. David White will be up next. Well, that's at 2 o'clock. Larry's next at 9.